What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. Welcome to iDevice Central. In this video we have another newscast from the jailbreak community. So as you probably know, a brand new kernel exploit was released, which we can use in order to update the ODC jailbreak no problem. Well, this exploit says in here is for iOS 14.3 and lower on all devices. Well, everything is okay, all handy dandy. But what about the 14.4 and 14.5 people? Because we know that there are, despite my warnings, a lot of people running 14.4, which is currently the only signed version and 14.5 which is currently in beta. Well apparently this benefactor of ours, Modern Poner, who decided to tag me and Raz and Coolstar out of the blue with a brand new kernel exploit yesterday, which by the way thank you so much you single-handedly saved the jailbreak community, they also decided to be even more altruistic with us and apparently I missed it, but at the very end of their iOS 14.3 exploit here on GitHub they also made a mention. Here on the PAC bypass section they said quote for the moment we have a brand new technique to bypass PAC but we decided to not include such a critical stuff here maybe and bolded maybe we'll post a PAC bypass along with the iOS 14.5 exploit wait a minute iOS 14.5 exploit yes apparently they do have a 14.5 and apparently 14.4 as well exploit aside from the one that has been published yesterday so even if you're running 14.4 or 14.5 and you missed the opportunity to go back to 14.3, you may not have to wait way too much for the Odyssey to work on 14.4 as well, because apparently they might release one for 14.5, which would work backwards with 14.4 as well, on A12, A13 and A14 too. So they also said, quote, this is in progress, we may publish 14.5 exploit after Apple patch. So after Apple decides to basically patch their vulnerability, they may release it like they did with this one here, which was patched in 14.4. So immediately after 14.4, 14.3 stopped being signed altogether because if you remember a couple of betas for 14.3 were still signed like the RC, they decided to make this available and now we can update the ODC jailbreak with no problem. Coolstar has already started working on their tools. Coolstar also made available today the libhooker APIs for developers. For those of you who want to make tweaks for the iOS 14 and for the ODC 14, you have in here the uh, libhooker API. And of course this is only for developers but this allows the developers to update their tweaks in order to make them compatible with Odyssey by the time Odyssey gets updated. So that's actually quite good. Coolstar also mentioned, quote, also for more Odyssey stuff, I will see some more updates for 13.x as 1.2.3 betas are going out, beta 7 will go up shortly. These are testing the rollout of user space reboot support for Odyssey and these changes will hopefully carry forward to iOS 14. They also said, quote, remember Chimera for iOS 12 was a super solid release as a result of major infrastructure work that went into the Electra 1.3.x on iOS 11. The same deal is here. Odyssey 14 will hopefully be even better than the initial launch of Odyssey on iOS 13, with the improvements being tested first on 13. So what Coolstar does is to first work on the iOS 13 version and update it and make it better, and then just carry forward the uh, changes to iOS 14, making Odyssey a very strong and very well-created jailbreak that works fine across multiple iOS versions, and that's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good way of thinking. So yeah, Odyssey jailbreak may not only work for 14.3 in the future. Yes, the exploit released yesterday that we have in our hands only works with 14.3 and lower. So if you're running 14.4 or 14.5 right now, you cannot use it. However, it seems that our benefactor that is actually an unknown developer may release something for 14.5 and 14.4 once Apple patches them, which of course will be in the future because 14.4 is currently signed and 14.5 is just in beta. But you may not have to wait that much, which is especially great since we waited quite a long time for this exploit for 14.3 and lower, but it looks like 14.4 and 14.5 may be more lucky. So yes, this is applying for all devices including the A12, A13 and A14, so iPhone 12 as well, and this is actually quite great. We'll keep you updated with anything going on with the Odyssey in the next period of time, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very busy period, so definitely stay tuned. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.